Hi, this is Steve Safaletto, and we're going to do a demonstration how you do the press make ready or setup, uh, and we're going to be doing the ink and dampener. So, um, on each press held on with a magnet are these standard operating procedure SOP checklists, and we have one here for feeder and delivery setup, inker and dampener setup, which is what we're going to do now, but we also supplement them with these photographs for the feeder setup, the delivery setup, the ink and dampener setup, which we're going to do now, plate hanging, which was a previous videotape, and register and color setup. So we're going to be concentrating now on ink and dampening, ink and dampening setup. Okay, by now the paper has been cut. The paper has been placed into the feeder. The delivery has been set. The plate has been made and the plate has been hung or mounted. So now what we want to do is we want to set up the inker and the dampener. So the very first thing we do is make sure that the fountain blade is down. We turn the keys or the screws counterclockwise to open them, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. And the reason why we're doing that is because we don't know how the previous person left those keys. Now that those keys are open, we can go ahead and close the fountain blade, lock it into position. Okay, so we have the fountain, the ink fountain. It consists of the fountain blade, the fountain keys, the fountain roller called the ball roller, and these outer ends are called the cheeks. Now that we're locked in position, you should be able to stroke or turn the sweep. Now, if you can't turn this, which I'm having difficulty doing, it's because these keys are too tight. So I'm looking at the position of these keys and these right here are inward. So I'm gonna loosen this up, drop this down again, 